Badass, badass 45 may reach a new milestone by election day, but of course, any of the milestones he reaches are never good milestones anyway. After Labor Day, Fat Ash 45's re-election campaign will shift into high gear, but his plea for four more years is being drowned out by the outrage over charges largely um, confirmed by CNN that he called America's war um, America's war heroes um, that, that are dead suckers and losers. This, of course, is not um, Fat Ash 45's first self-inflicted wound. It is merely the latest in the long list of scandals and revelations which make the case that are, that the impeached but not convicted um, fake um, fat ass fake um, is un undeserving of re-election, but also the worst the worst squatter in U.S. history. After after fat ass is um, after fat ass forty five's first term in the highest office, the U.S. in many ways is unrecognizable. More than one hundred eighty nine thousand have died of the COVID nineteen, and the economy has collapsed. Much of the much of the um, world now pities us for the poor leadership we must endure. Fat ass forty five has found has wounded the nation's psyche. Uh, psyche basically, he denigrates those who don't who 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 won't cow um cow cow to him, including elected officials, the press, and anyone who dares to challenge his actions. He does all this as he tries to claim access for for um excess power for himself. It feels too many like the U.S. has become a nightmare. No wonder a recent Gallup poll found Americans are more politically divided than they have been in the in 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 the course of over 80 years of this history of the whole. It is audacious, of course, it is, aud it is audacious, of course, to suggest that someone is categorically the worst squatter in, in history, but, is, but it is no more audacious than Fat Ass 45's own first term claims to greatness made him ma made with more than 20,000 um, lies and deceptions documented in running fashion by the Washington Post. Fat Ass 45 is, remember, a man who said before the pandemic, George Washington would have a hard time beating me. The the fa the, fa the 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 squatter's most absurd claim, a main theme of his reelection campaign, is that he did everything he said he would do. His slogan, "Promises made, promises kept," is another fucking lie. Among the promises he failed to fulfill are building a border wall that Mexico would pick up the tab for, replacing Obamacare with something better, heavily investing in rebuilding our infrastructure, reducing the federal debt, ending trade deficits, and creating vast numbers of jobs. In many cases, the good things that have happened during the during the fat ass forty five years depended on momentum created by his predecessors. Um, fat fat ass forty five's bizarre practice of simply declaring success when failure surrounds him reached a new crescendo as he accepted his party's nomination. His speech was so riddled with distortions and lies that CNN fact checker Daniel Dale concluded he seriously that he serially lied throughout it. Fat ass forty five placed himself beside Abraham Lincoln in the American pantheon and described him and described his challenger in ways that should be reserved. That should be reserved for Lucifer himself. Among the worst acceptance speech deceptions, um, among the worst acceptance speech deceptions was Fat Ass Forty Five's claim that he moved decisively to stop the pandemic. To hear Fat Ass um, Forty Five tell it that he is a hero, in, in this story and the virus will soon be behind us. In fact, three thousand six hundred people died during the four days of that convention, as colleges and universities across the country reported new outbreaks as students tried to resume on-campus studies. Under under Fat Ass Forty Five, America is a nation with with only just four percent of the world's population, but they have suffered about twenty percent of the deaths in the due to the pandemic. It is true, of course, that Fat Ass Forty Five did not begin this calamity, but by many estimates, he failed egregiously in his duty to do the best anyone could do to stop it. He has been an unforgivable, unfathomable failure of leadership. With, um, his has been an unforgivable, unfathomable failure of leadership with catastrophic catastrophic results. The most galling aspect of his leadership failure is that Fat Ass 45's administration was handed a playbook for dealing with the pandemic by the Obama administration instead of using it as a source of guidance. However, Fat Ass 45 complained about his predecessor, downplayed the threat, and when asked about an inadequate test, and he says, I don't take responsibility at all. As Americans have died, often at a rate of more than 1,000 per day, Fat Ass 45 diverted attention to quack, to quack cures and unreliable speculations. He touted one treatment, hydroxychloroquine, that was soon shown to be not just ineffective but possibly dangerous, but not before the government bought 63 million doses. Standing at the White House podium, he mused about using household cleaners and sunlight to fight the, the virus, which I would not have to say are not actual treatments. Besides his snake oil, his snake oil salesman, his snake oil salesman act. Fat, besides the snake oil, besides the snake oil salesman act, Fat S forty five has amplified dangerous voices while squelching those who sh that we should hear. 
A few weeks ago, he bo he boosted a doctor who has said her colleagues used gen um, genetic material from aliens to make medicines, gave a platform to a supporter who sells pillows on TV, and has touted another unproven compound as a potential treatment for COVID-19. The economic impact of the pandemic has been perhaps as devastating as the misinformation. In the most recent quarter, the U.S. economy shrank by an estimated 32.9%, which was the worst fall ever recorded. Yes, a worse economic contraction than any quarter of the Great Depression. Unemployment, which is better, is a, which is a better measure of individual suffering, has also reached a record high. But with bring with it all of the anxiety that comes with the sudden loss of work and bill bill paying security. Healthcare professionals have noted a spike in psychological suffering and connected to management of the pandemic. In July, one poll found that fifty three percent of Amer that fifty three percent of Americans have said that the coronavirus has had a negative impact on their mental health. Of course, America has faced terrible times before this, but when those crises brought death and suffering due to war, we could take that comfort that some noble cause was part of the equation. In this case, nothing noble will be achieved by all the sacrifice. What about the pandemic of 1918? Yes, that outbreak did kill more Americans than it occurred when scientists knew less about contagions and much less could be done, and much less could have been done for the sick back then. FADAS-45, in contrast, had the public health resources of the richest country on Earth at his disposal. Not only did he fail to use them, he actually attacked the experts at these agencies for trying to do their job. Rick Bright, the federal doctor formerly overseeing the COVID-19 vaccine development, said that he was pulled from that role after clashing with the administration's stance on hydroxychloroquine. The Centers for Disease Control was apparently under pressure by the FADAS's team to change its guidelines for schools. Some at the CDC, who once talked freely to reporters to help the American people, understood threats to their well-being and they have withdrawn for fear of reprisals. Um, no one has been more mistreated by fat by, um, by fat ass 45 than the nation's top expert on contagious diseases, Anthony Fulci. Um, while fat ass 45 was called alarmist and, and a man who made a lot of mistakes as an advisor on the crisis, it could be easily argued that no one in the world is more respected than Fulci when it comes to the science of pandemics, and yet fat ass 45 and his closest lieutenants have repeatedly undermined him. Trade advisor Peter Nabral even published an op-ed declaring Anthony Poultry has been wrong about everything I have directed with him on. Uh, no, he hasn't. As FADAS-45 bashed the experts, he held Klein rallies where thousands, risk, where thousands risked exposure to the virus. Following suit, some republic cunt governors play, um, downplayed, the, downplayed the risk, keeping non-essential business open, op, non-essential businesses open and declining to mandate face masks. The result was predictable. Outbreaks, spread, outbreaks have spread in the states, claiming thousands of lives. Perhaps the damage of the fat ass forty five arrow will leave the longest will leave the longest lasting mark in the political and social tumult he has fostered apart from the pandemic. Fat ass fat ass forty five has used his power and power to re to reward his cronies, stonewalled Congress as it sought to perform its oversight duties and crusaded against the press that he calls the enemy of the people of the enemy of the people. Um, he turned federal officers. Um, he he turned federal officers on peaceful protesters and exaggerated unrest in big cities to demonize those exercising their right to demonstrate. With election day approaching, he has repeatedly predicted that fraud and chaos will accompany the vote, which he has no proof of. It becomes an afterthought when com when compared to everything else. But let's not forget that Fat Ass Forty Five was the only was only the third president, only the third third fake fake president to be impeached by the House of Representatives. It is difficult to name a president who has shown so little concern. For so many of the people he is supposed to serve, this terrible quality was likely on the minds of the 157 presidential scholars who responded to a rank the president survey conducted in 2018 by Siena College at that time. Um, Bad Ass 25 placed third from last, which, um, but he was ahead of Franklin Pierce and James Buchanan. Of course, this survey was completed before the pandemic, the recession that followed, and Bad Ass 45's impeachment. Coming out of the Republican convention, Fat Ass 45 signaled that we will get more of the same from between from him between now and November 3rd. He practiced his signature name calling against the mayor of Portland, Oregon, resuming and he resumed undermining the use of masks to protect public health and demonstrate his contempt for mail-in voting by suggesting people vote twice. Of course, this is against the law because the system may not work. The vote twice suggestion continued the Fat Ass's long effort to cast doubt on the security of the election system at a time when mail-in voting could protect people from the pandemic. His effort comes when our need to trust each other in our institutions is extraordinarily high. The fat ass's behavior is irresponsible but incons but consistent. Um, but election day, the man who was always who has always demanded to be regarded as a special as as a special may well have cemented the title of first among the worst of Americans. But we won't be delivered from his traumatic his tra traumatic era of a if a convincing majority recognizes recognizes the failure of his reality of the reality.
So if you like the video, give the um um give it a like and subscribe to my channel, Rainbow Mike, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.